Hey guys, happy Tuesday! So, as you can see, my hair looks like a big mess and a little one right now because I am getting my hair cut. And I think it's been a long time since, since I've cut my hair too. I think about February or March, so it's been quite some time. And I'm pretty sure like some of you guys like experience this too. Like you know you need a haircut when like your ends start to look and feel dry. I'm excited for that because um, I feel like I should cut quite a bit off. Um, it, it's like almost... I wouldn't say down to the butt crack, but it's pretty long. Um, of course, when like I brush the, the hair to the front, it's just right below the, the move area. But I feel like I should cut maybe about two inches off um, just to, you know, get a refresher and all that because I just colored my hair, as you guys can see. I did my roots. Um, so it's about time I uh, cut this. Like, this is... No, absolutely not. So anyways, I'm gonna trim my hair and then tomorrow I get to do my nails. I'm gonna cut these guys off right here. They are super long. I don't know how people with long nails can type or do anything because they're annoying as heck. Like, I like my long nails every once in a while, but like I like to have the freedom of chopping them off when I feel like it. So another reason why I hate getting my nails done. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna take you guys with me for the next few days or so, um, you know, before my engagement shoot. So can we say we are loving this cut? Oh my gosh, my hair feels so much lighter right now. Like, uh, I think it was like up to here. So I asked her to cut like an inch and a half to two inches. It's like there was so much hair and dry and dead. It's like it needed to go. So how are we liking this so far? You know, the length, I think we're good. Color, on point. So I think we're good for our photo shoots. The only last thing I need to do is the nails and uh, that won't be until tomorrow. What do we think? Um, so originally I was thinking more of like, I don't know, like a marbly or even flower since we're gonna be um, around the gardens to take pictures and everything, right? So I'm like, hey, maybe that could be a concept. But then um, as I'm going through trying to like think of ideas, I'm like, oh, how about some like stars, some of this? It's so nice. It's very neutral, very simple, which I love. Blue, I never really have blue of anything, so it was, it's kind of like a good accent color. Um, see if I could show you my other hand right there. So that's pretty much what it looks like, and it's so cute. So I don't remember if I ever mentioned this, but like I don't normally get my nails done. Well, that part I mentioned a lot, but reason being is because it, every single time I get my nails done, the nail techs always kind of like hurt me a little bit too much like they're a little too rough and you know when they're like cutting the cuticles or like they're taking off like the previous like gel or the acrylic or whatever it is like when they file it down it hurts right so and I, I hated it so when I first went to my nail girl I was just like okay I just need my nails done because of an event and then when she first did it I'm like oh my gosh I like what she's doing because as we're talking, she's like, she doesn't like the, the pain of it either. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're my new best friend now. So um, the past like, I don't know how many months now, I've been like going to her for to, to do my nails and she's been doing a great job every single time. It doesn't hurt, it's very like gentle, but she gets the job done. That's all I want, right? And also the oil that she uses, oh so good like I, I think it's called blossoms or something like that i asked her before but i keep forgetting the name but oh my god it smells so good uh, anyway so this is the nail update right now so basically next time you see me is when we are heading down to get our pictures taken so excited <music> Tired. 
tired. Yeah, I am. So, engagement shoot. Yeah, how, what about it? How'd you feel? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, before that. I'm fine with it. <laughs> you cold? I'm freezing. <laughs> I love you. I want food. Uh, we're getting food. So we are home now. I am exhausted, you guys. Like I, uh, so right now, I, wait, what, I don't know what time it is right now. I think it's like just after 10 o'clock. Let me hold this camera probably. Yeah, I think it's just after 10 o'clock right now. Actually, it's almost 11. Ooh. So um, just to let you guys know on uh, what happened during the day because I did not have my phone on me because obviously we were taking photos. Um, but basically, um, we met with our photographer um, at 6.30 and we went to HTO Park and around the uh, Toronto Music Garden. So we took pictures around there uh, for about 45 five minutes to an hour or so something like that because we needed some time to head down to uh, Ward's Island and take some pictures uh, around there as well so yeah so anyways we took some pictures there and then um, went to Ward's Island it was the first time that I ever been on a um, like taxi like a water taxi to head there because we usually went by the ferry and yeah so this is actually like my first time it, it was actually quite interesting um, I've never been on it before like I said and it, it was kind of cool actually um, I don't know if I would be on it again maybe I will maybe I will it depends on my mood um, but the taxis were very very quick though kind of cold because you're obviously on the water and there's nothing really to kind of like protect you it, like you know when you're on the ferry you kind of have that choice to stay outside or you could go like inside this their little cabin thing um you don't have that choice here and then you do have like the lake kind of you know potentially splashing and kind of getting on you so it's kind of disgusting but uh, it's an experience so would i uh, do it again probably depends on, on my mood once again um, so we took pictures around there, went around the beach, uh, me and Ryan went around barefoot and we kind of like stepped into the lake as well. I was like, oh crud, like do I have to do this? But I do want the nice pictures so I'm just waiting for the photos to come at this point. Like it will take about a couple of weeks or so but uh, I'm so excited and waiting for them. Um, but that's about it. So oh, after that we went to Swiss Chalet because Ryan's been asking for Swiss Chalet. It's been a while for him so I'm like, okay, whatever, let's do it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really film like a makeup look or anything like that. It's just my everyday face. Um, popped some lashes on, did my brows. I just like put like a wash of color on my eyelids just to kind of make it, you know, not look so bare and have some color in them. Um, my lips, um, I just did like a lip liner. I used the Melt Cosmetics uh, lip liner. And then I just put, um, I think Charlotte Tilbury nude over and then just topped it off with like the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. Well, that's all I did with my lips. It was really nice. And also, in case you guys are wondering what concealer I'm using, this is the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. Like that is really like crease proof. Like it's like resistant to sweat and all that. Like the first time I tried it out was the review that I did. And then I used it again for the photo shoot. And let me tell you that this small line did not budge. Like it looks flawless. And I've been smiling a lot obviously for taking photos because like by at some point um, the foundation and the, and the concealer will start to sell into my fine lines and, you, and it'd be very prominent. But you know after all this smiling, after all this facial movement like smiling and laughing and you know, whatever, this state put so I don't want to promote this again but I kind of have to so if you guys are interested in this definitely get it if you guys definitely need a concealer that lasts and moves with like your skin lightweight breathable this is so so good I've seen like a few reviews that people don't like it but I absolutely love this um, I don't know how the original Superstay was uh, to be quite honest but the active wear 
It is so, so good. So if you guys can get your hands on this, definitely, definitely do. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this, you know, kind of getting ready with me, sort of, um, throughout the engagement shoot vlog thing. So anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.